In the region of the neck, the cervical region here, you'll notice these structures on the side. This is what we call the superior cervical ganglion. This is the middle cervical ganglion. This is the inferior cervical ganglion. Again, in the cer cervices, meaning neck or the cervical region. Superior, middle, inferior cervical ganglion. From there, the rest of the way down, shown on one side here, is the sympathetic ganglia. And you can see these little swellings, swelling, 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 the rest of the way down here. What you'll also see coming off this cervical plexus, you can see these sort of braid together right here. Uh, this one in particular that I'm pointing at right now is the phrenic nerve. Uh, if you look on both sides, you can see the brachial plexus starting to form. Again, you can imagine these coming and going out to the arms. If we work our way down the rib cage, okay, that subcostal nerve is going to run right under here, under the costa or under the last rib. And then again, when we get into this region here, we're looking at the lumbar plexus. When we get all the way down here, we are looking at the sacral plexus. Sacral plexus is going to start to form from here. In this region down here, again, if this is the iliac crest of the hips right here, you can see this one coming together, coming together, coming together. This makes the femoral nerve. You also see these, this plexus starting to come together to braid and form the very large sciatic nerve. That's sciatic nerve right there.